Right now, a big story on YouTube is about a little boy. His name is Sebastian Rogers. And he's 15 years old, and he is autistic. And he lived at home with his mother and stepfather. And um, it sounds like, in the, and, and he's missing. And it sounds like what happened was the stepfather couldn't handle Sebastian, the 15-year-old autistic boy. It was probably a handful. And so I'm going to guess something happened to Sebastian. We don't know. One night he just disappeared. He, he went out to eat dinner with his mother. His stepdad was out of town, three hours away working, supposedly, whatever that means. And Sebastian Rogers vanished into thin air. And then, then we start hearing all the stories about Sebastian, about how the stepfather uh, would get his belt and he would spank Sebastian with a belt and his stepfather would make fun of him. And um, his step and Sebastian, they, they made Sebastian wear a pull-up, which with anybody with the, uh, who's got a, a, a kid on the spectrum, um, you know, I can understand that. <laughs> Uh, bathroom problems, bathroom accidents, that, that, that's a huge thing. Uh, my grandson is seven. It's something we struggle with daily. I pray that he grows out of it, but right now I'm not thinking he's going to. Um, so what's going to happen to him when he's 15? He very, wi very well likely might have to be, might have to wear a pull-up. Um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what happened to Sebastian Rogers. I don't know if um, he had there was some accident. I don't know if it was easier for the mother to make him disappear. I doubt very highly that he ran away from home. Um, you do hear stories about autistic autistic kids running. They will they will open the door and they will just run. The O's done it a couple of times, but. The, Katie, the mother, said from the very beginning that Sebastian was not a runner. He also left in the middle of the night with no shoes on. Um, and when you hear different people talk about Sebastian, they talk about how he would never go anywhere without his shoes on. So I don't believe that in the middle of the night, Sebastian ran away in the dark. So where is he? Um... Then, 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 then we have his father, his real father, uh, a man who claims to have spent lots and lots of time with his son. Uh, this man also claims that uh, he doesn't want his son on medication. Well, Sebastian um, has a hard time sleeping. And that's a huge thing. Yeah. Many, many children on the spectrum struggle with sleep because their brains are not producing enough melatonin. So to help that, you give them melatonin. And many times that will help them sleep better. The 70s never slept through the night, but the melatonin does help. Well, Sebastian's real father didn't like him being on melatonin and claimed that he would just give Sebastian sleepy time tea and that would help. Anyway, I call BS on that, too. I, I just do. Raising an autistic child for the last seven years. Sleepy time tea is not going to help. Furthermore, Sebastian Rogers, the missing 15-year-old autistic boy who vanished into thin air. The whole story has become a crime. It's, it's become a circus. The parents are are not searching. I know not only are they not searching, they're creating GoFundMe accounts, collecting all kinds of money. They're requesting money to be on any kind, to be interviewed. And, um, it's just a circus. It's just a freaking circus. So I do pray that Sebastian is found soon. Um, just so that we all have answers to what happened to poor Sebastian. But uh, again, with autism, there's a lot of stories out there about autistic children that go missing, and we need to pay a better attention to these stories, and we need to educate ourselves on how to live with children with autism because every single day is a struggle. And if you have an autistic child, just be careful, the people that you bring into your home, because... 
in order to take care of an autistic child, you've got to truly love them because they may do nothing but scream for five hours straight. And um, discipline does not help an autistic child. You can train them and help them maybe not scream, but you can't spank them. Um, you can't put them in a corner. Um, anytime an autistic child is overwhelmed, they go into something called a meltdown. There are no words for me to try to explain to you what a meltdown is like. <laughs> Um, it's like their brain is overstimulated and they just kind of go crazy for a little bit. And once again, you can't, you can't take a belt out and spank an autistic child and spank the autism away. That's not going to help. Uh, so if nothing else, maybe Sebastian Rogers case, we can bring a little bit of awareness towards autism. Things that will help autism. Figure out what's causing autism. And you know what, Elon Musk, with all your money, with all your Tesla cars, digging holes in the ground to create tunnels and sending spaceships up to space, why don't you put some of that money towards autism? Because for all of y'all who don't know, Elon Musk is on the spectrum. He's on the high end of the spectrum, but he is definitely on the spectrum. Um, and, and he will say that out loud. But my biggest question is, why with all that money that you have, with all that power you have, have you not given any of that money to research to help figure out what the heck is causing this autism? Anyway, that's my shout out to Elon Musk. Hey, Elon, I hope you're listening. <laughs> I doubt he is, but uh, maybe we all need to shout out to Elon Musk and say, instead of digging holes and, and going off to space, why don't you help figure out what's going on right here on planet Earth? And then, and then, and then we can go off to space and explore. Anyway, that's my rant for the night. My name's Lori. This is my channel, Unbox Life for Lori, where we talk about everything life. And tonight's topic was autism. Uh, if you've watched this long, please hit the like button and subscribe. I am a new YouTuber and I'm learning a little bit as I go along and I'm trying to figure out my lighting and my backdrop and I know my sound isn't very good, so I'm trying to figure out ways to make the sound better. Uh, so I'm just trying to learn along the way. And, um, yeah. And I like to end every vlog by saying this. Please remember to always be kind. Because, like me, you never know what someone's going through. And your kindness may just be what makes their difference. So just remember that. Okay, bye for tonight. I hope you all have a wonderful night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.